Okay, the video's not clickbait. I'm getting rid of my 16 to 35 F2.8 from Sony. Let's be real, most people don't give a shit that I personally am getting rid of this. But if you've been watching the channel for a while now, I was so pumped to get this lens. This has been like a dream lens of mine. God damn it. Do you ever like over fantasize about something or really like oversell it to yourself? And you're like, for years, you're just like, God, I really, I really want this thing. Okay, some of you were right. This was, it was way overkill. There's just like no need. I don't know, it's such a great lens. It's so badass. Maybe if I had like hundreds of thousands of subscribers and like every day, like it was just making content for one channel. But for what I do, this lens is amazing. It looks great, but for the size and like how much more money it is versus other options. And the whole like F2.8, I'm over it. I don't need it. I'm so sad that Bahama Mama is going, I don't know why, but G Fuel's gonna stop making it. Also, before we go pick up the new lens, come on, who are you kidding? And look at this. These are the shoes that I showed you guys last week that I wanted to get. And some of you shitters, including Megan, said that these look exactly the same. These are practically the same shoe. In what world are we living in where they look the same? I mean, yeah, they both look like a shoe. Okay, Jesus Christ. I'm gonna put these on and go, uh, go pick up the new lens. <sighs> Obviously, I wanna point out that this lens is amazing. Don't want anybody thinking that it's a bad investment or it's not worth it. It is a badass lens. Obviously, when it comes to gear, it's really subjective to one's content. And I just, I don't think that I need to have the weight of this, the size of this, and honestly just be sitting on the price of this lens when I can go get something else that will get the job done for me. Oh yeah, we still got the doors off. By the way, I also found out that my iPhone was recording in HDR footage, and this was 100% by default. I did not enable this. Just a tip, if you ever wanna like vlog or utilize your phone for good quality video footage, just disable the HDR stuff. HDR is super good for really professional situations, but if you're just making some online meme videos or vlogs, completely unnecessary in my opinion. Okay, so this is the Sigma, yeah, Sigma 16 to 28 f2.8 lens. Now, the reason I did decide to try this out, and I'm not 100% sold on this, is I had a Tamron 17 to 28 for like two to three years of creating content on this channel. Like some of the best videos that I ever made was on that lens, and it was like a budget version of the 16 to 35 f2.8 lens that's $2,000. So for price difference, this lens right here is $800, and the lens that you typically watch me on is $2,000. Now I ask you watching the video, do you guys notice any difference in quality from this image to what you guys are typically used to seeing me? Now the upsides to this lens is it's super light, it's a lot smaller, it's more compact, it's easier to tuck away with the camera. Like for example, you guys know I like to vlog and I like to put the camera in the center console here. With the other lens, it's really hard because that lens is just so massive. On top of that, Megan's been helping me with a lot of videos recently and she hates how big the other lens is on top of needing to zoom in with it. So I'm hoping that this lens will be a better option even for Megan using this too. Yeah, Sigma 16 to 28, should be cool. So I've already gotten compliments twice now on my shoes. One was while I was literally driving, a car was next to me and was like, yo, those shoes are so sick, how neat is that? I just feel mentally drained. <laughs> Look at the new I've, lens. I've just, it looks like a lens. Traffic was so bad today. I, I was just about to say, I got home t at least 10 minutes, if not later, 10 or 15 minutes later than I normally do. Where the camera shop is in coordinates to our house is like 30 minutes, maybe? What would you say? Like 20, 30 minutes. So I left at 3.30. Take in mind, I did stop and get Chick-fil-A, so that added some time but I left at 3.30 at this place and it is 5.10 right now. It took me two hours nearly to do something that typically takes 40 minutes at most. It's that Friday traffic. 
That damn city driving. It's Friday traffic. And yes, we had to make sure that the food was secured during the trip. We got the best thing that you can get from Chick-fil-A, which is their Cobb salad. Apparently that's a, a thing that people are against. Apparently people don't like the Cobb salad from oh, Chick-fil-A. Yeah, I really like the Cobb salad. Yeah, it's good. You guys just don't have any taste. So just for size comparison, this is actually insane. So this is the 16 to 35 that I've been using. And as you see, when you do a zoom with this, it will actually extend larger than what it is. And this is the new 16 to 28 Sigma that I just got. Sometimes gentlemen, bigger is not the answer. <laughs> I know I'm just testing the waters, but I'm already just so excited to have this. Like I'm pretty confident that I'm gonna be getting rid of the 16 to 35 from Sony. And it sucks because like, this is something that I, I really, I hyped myself up over for a long time. I built this thing in my head that by getting this, like once I was at a point in my career to get this, that it would be like just a momentual thing. It'd be a huge deal for me as a creator to utilize this. But as I said, it's just so overkill for what I do. And although I like to invest in these videos and create higher quality content for you guys and gals. Having something like this with quality that you've seen, having a little bit more focal range than this, having some stabilization for $1,200 more. It's an amazing lens. And there's a reason why it's the same exact price it was when it originally came out and it hasn't dropped in price over the years of it being in production. It's a fast, solid range, smooth, good lens, but I just don't think it has its purpose for me. So that's why I'm looking at something a little bit more compact. So I'm going to be trying the 16 to 28 from Sigma for a little bit. And then also, if I'm not really a big fan of this, if I have any problems with autofocus or color, I don't know. I'm not really anal, sorry gentlemen, <laughs> about cameras. So I think this is gonna do the job. I think I'm gonna enjoy this, but who knows? 